Hi, so um, carrying on from um, chorus, um, the last video was about the chorus, what I'm going to call the chorus part A, and this is going to be the chorus part B. So, yeah, at around 1.32, um, this starts happening. Um, so before we had the chord sequence of C, B, E minor, G, D, starting at around uh, 1 minute in the song and then going on to about 1 minute 30 and then at around 1 minute 30 then it changes into this which is the same thing but different order again so you've got the E minor 7 the C the G the D the D sus 4 and then you're back to the E minor 7 so the chord progression here is E minor 7 C9, G, D, and D sus4. One thing, uh, yeah, there is a bit of a difference. Um, before, when you've got the previous chord sequence, which is C, E minor, 7, G, and D, um, I was muting that top E string. Listening to it again, I'm not sure. But definitely the, the note that stands out is that note, so that's fine. But you can either play it like that with that top note muted, or have both fingers there, but just try and emphasise with your strumming these middle four strings, and not so much that top E. But certainly when it gets to what I'm calling the second part of the chorus, which like I said happens around 1 minute 30 in the song, uh, when it starts with this E minor, it's an E minor 7 again, but instead of that, first finger, second finger, third finger, you're also now going to have your fourth finger on the third fret of the top E string. So you got that, which is, um, if you've ever tried to play or played Wonderwall, it's, it's that shape. Yeah? So we've got a strumming pattern the same as the chorus part A. Three chords E minor 7, C9, G. Uh, you can see that the third and fourth finger is on the third fret of the B and top E strings are your anchor fingers because they stay there. Then you go to D and the anchor finger, that one, your third finger on the third fret of the B still remains, it still stays there. And then when you do the D sus4, you've got this um, configuration again. Third finger and fourth finger on the third fret, the top two strings. So there you are, D, D sus4, and then you're back to that E minor 7. Yeah, and then that carries on for about half a minute, I think up until two minutes in the song. And then, um, so you got that goes around several times. Then he starts singing the line about Johnny Cash and never knew love would hurt so bad. And then that time round it stops, so you got uh, and then there you've got again that cut off and mm, I'm not doing it too well at the moment but he's gone to a D sus4 and you want that which like I said in the last video is strummed down and then immediately let them ring out slightly, I mean for a short time, and then turn the arm in that, yeah, in that plane, so you're rotating the wrist so that you're moving the side of the palm, cross chop side of the palm, onto the strings. Yeah. Slowly. Okay, hope that's okay. And yeah, so that's uh, the what I'm kind of calling the B section of the chorus, or the last half of the chorus. And then it goes back into um, a verse again. So I think that's a whole song. I'll have a listen and make sure, but I think then we're back into a verse.
verse, and then you've done all the sections because you've got verse, chorus, section A, chorus, section B. 